The second session of CPM 2011 is a meeting about a meeting. At next year's World Radio Communication Conference, delegates will decide the future of the world's wireless technologies. But before they get there, they need to hash out an agenda at the Conference Preparatory Meeting, or CPM. Some 1,300 delegates from over 100 administrations and over 60 sector members have come to Geneva to shape the future of the world's communications. The role of the ITU is, is to have all the countries of the world involved in, in the WRC uh, so that at the end of the conference where there is an agreement, this decision can be applied in all countries. This is what allows you to first to benefit from the economies of scales, to have cheap equipment, and second, to be able to go to any country and be able to use your equipment. The sheer range of issues and how those issues touch our lives is staggering. Your mobile phone, radio, television wouldn't work without the effective management of the radio communication spectrum. Your in-car GPS would be useless without effective satellite services. You can add to that the prospect of live international television broadcasts and forget any notion of being rescued after a disaster without prior coordination of emergency communications. One issue poised to have a profound impact on communications is the switchover from analogue to digital television. The switchover is freeing up large chunks of the radio communication spectrum and the World Radio Communication Conference will look at who that spectrum will be available to. Through uh, the transition to digital television, the spectrum requirement of, uh, for broadcasting uh, of television will decrease. And therefore, this can free up uh, spectrum for other services. The question is what, for what this spectrum uh, will be used, for what application. And of course, today, the mobile industry is very much eager of spectrum. So they are very much uh, pushing the broadcast industry to uh, share this uh, digital dividend with them. Some countries, they already have the digital dividend spectrum available for uh, broadband mobile, and they have even auctioned off the spectrum. The timing is right at this point, and uh, uh, we should encourage the countries as the need comes for broadband mobile, that uh, the spectrum from the digital dividend should be made available through the national uh, regu regulations. The conference will address that in more detail in order to, get, to give all the guarantees of uh, that this sharing will be done without uh, prejudice, without affecting uh, the current users and without affecting the broadcasting users. What's exciting is that this spectrum is being freed up just as the ITU has given its approval to the next generation of mobile broadband communications. The world is poised for an explosion in mobile broadband. It's of special interest to parts of the world challenged by distance and lacking resources for fixed-line broadband internet. Most African countries do not have a well-lined infrastructure and so we rely mostly on the wireless communication. That is why we are so passionate in, 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 in the ensuring that uh, spectrum are allocated for all these services. This is the biggest task of the uh, human society for the whole world, is broadband access. This is number one. It's probably most difficult is it will take many, many years to have full system because this is the evolutionary basis should be developed. There's no one-size-fits-all solution for broadband, particularly getting it to the rural community. So we'll have to look at everything from mobile broadband to broadcasting to use of the satellites to provide that broadband access. Satellite services are an important part of discussions here. The ability of satellites to reach out to remote areas is vital to regions with a large hostile geography to contend with or frequent natural disasters. The spectrum for mobile satellite services is limited and we need some spectrum which is, uh, can satisfy and can fulfill their services and requirements. 
this is the most important services during any for uh, God forbidden for disaster recovery. So whenever that there is any uh, any country has any damages or crisis, you know that the infrastructure of the telecom sometimes get damaged, and the fastest way communication to provide to the public there it is through satellite. Satellite orbits will also comprise an important part of the World Radio Communication Conference. We're sending more satellites into space and orbits are becoming more and more crowded. And as the demand for satellite parking slots intensifies, so does the clamour for greater fairness in their allocation. What happens is people bring an orbital slot into use, then vacate it, and there's no limit it's theirs forever. I want clarification, I want less abuse, I want clear rules, I want a level playing field, I want to go to my regulator and find the same rules in the same way applied than my competitor in another administration and that is currently not the case. It's early days, but we've already had discussions on proposed unmanned or demanned aircraft. Maritime and aeronautical navigation is increasingly reliant on technology, more tools for skilled traffic controllers to make the vital judgment calls that ensure crowded skies and seas are free from danger. Radio communications are vital for weather forecasting, earth observation and monitoring the environment. The decisions taken at next year's World Radio Communication Conference will ensure the smooth running of mobile and satellite communications and allow scientists to gather vital remote data, even in hostile ecosystems like these mountaintops. You know that the satellites today play a, a major role in monitoring and uh, sensing and getting information on, on, on the climate and, and, and the, this growing need is, is, uh, is translated here in, in growing resources like spectrum for them, so that's one of the points. So much of our lives are touched by systems and technologies that rely on radio communications. It's vital that the World Radio Communication Conference next year gets things right first time. The second session of the conference preparatory meeting 2011 has established a detailed and dynamic agenda for action, ensuring that on land, on sea, in the air, even in space, we can still reach out and talk. <laughs>